In this lesson, we're going to practice counting by tens. We're going to use the number grid to help us. So here we have a number grid that goes all the way up to 120. Okay, in these examples, what we're going to do is every time we move over to the right, we're going to be adding 10 to the number that comes before it. So, for example, if we add 10 to the number 2, we're going to get 12. Let's go over to our number line so we could double check. So we're going to highlight the number 2 and we're going to move 10 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If we move 10 spaces, we end up at the number 12. Let's move 10 more spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We end up at the number 22. Let's put this on our number line. Now, if we keep going, if you see, we're going to end up at the number 32 as our next number because we're going straight down the column. So after 22, you get 32. Then if you add 10 to 32, you would get 42. After that, we get 52. Let's move on to our next example. If you add 10 to 6, you get 16. Let's put that on our number grid. Okay, now if you add 10 to 16, you're going to get 26. And then you're going to get 36. So let's start 26, 36, 46. Add 10 to that, you get 56, 66, 76, 86, and 96. Now, if you look at the numbers carefully, you can see a pattern. The numbers in the ones position, or the ones digit, don't change. They stay six all the way through. But the numbers in the tens position, they go up by one. So from 16, you go to 26, 36, and so on. Now let's do the last example. We'll start at the number nine. After nine, we go to 19 when we jump by 10, then to 29, then to 39, and so on. So let's fill in our number line. You add 10 to 9, you get 19, then 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, 99, and this is where it gives some of you a lot of trouble. After 90, you get 100, so you have to keep going. After 99, you would get 109. Okay, let's look at our number grid just to double check. And if we look at our number grid, we can see that if we move down from the number 99, we would get 109.